back in March, between March 22nd and April 8th last year, there was a survey called Have Your Say Survey. This was part of the strategic planning that was done. Among people being invited to participate, students in grade four to 12, and I quote directly from the survey, what is your sexual orientation? Who's interested in knowing the sexual orientation of my daughter? She's in grade four. She was invited to take part of the survey. I, grade I, four? I'm not raising my hand because I'm interested. I know the answer to who's interested in the sexual orientation of his daughter. The groomers. And it's the, the groomers. It's, yeah. it's anyone who is a part of the education system who wants to focus on anything but education. Not the people who want to focus on teaching, reading, writing, math, history. It's those other people who want to focus on anything else. Sexualization, uh, any activism in schools. Social justice activism. Social justice, environmentalism, any of the isms. If they want to focus on the isms, those are your people. It's the cult of DEI. But here's the headline. Who's interested in knowing my daughter's sexual orientation? First off, the dad's name is David Toter. I think that's how he pronounces it. Um, and he's at the, his daughter attends the Waterloo Region District, which is Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. And he was there to also to talk about a book that we'll get to in a moment. But his daughter is seven, but the book that they approved, which is The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, is actually approved for the fourth and fifth grade. Seven-year-olds are like second grade so which is even younger oh, that's right yeah fourth oh grade goodness. you're you're going you know nine eight nine ten for the fifth grade part ten eleven so if you're a seven year old you're probably a either first to second grader oh, depending Lord. on when your birthday falls right so he also was talking in addition to you know who wanting to know the sexual orientation is specifically he actually reads a quote that comes from the bluest eye this morning, I accessed a book. I can assure you that this book has been approved and is accessible to my daughter, the one that's seven years old, by the way. I have access to this book. I'm going to read you a little passage from this book because if it's good enough for her to access it, it's good enough to be read over here. And this book is approved according to the Waterloo District School Board for ages for grade four to five reading level. He could have been an active homosexual, but lacked the courage. Bestiality did not occur to him, and sodomy was quite out of the question, for he did not experience sustained erections and could not endure the thought of somebody else's. And since he was too different to confront homosexuality, and since little boys were insulting, scary, and stubborn, he further limited his interest to little girls. They were usually manageable and frequently seductive. That's the bluest eye, a book that my daughter can access. Oh, gosh. You know, I mean, we're not surprised by this, and it has been going on for years. Some of this just comes out now because parent, more parents are saying, wait a minute, if I don't speak up, who's going to speak up? But it's, it is a, what is it? It's, it's a national bestseller. I'm over on Amazon, over 11,000 ratings and they're like four, to four and five star ratings for this. So you know how popular this garbage is. But he made it, and this is the point, friends. It's not, it's bad enough that some teachers are putting this into the curriculum and they are teaching or asking or, or encouraging your kids in a certain direction. But this stuff, if it's not in the curriculum, other things like this are available. Very key point that it's available to young kids at that level.